And where'd you go next? That's kind of the thing in my head. I'm a high school student. I've never really had a chance to succeed at many things. I haven't really done anything. I haven't been exposed to anything, any problems or major problems to begin with. And I, I started thinking, well, I had a major success. I was called a good pastor, but that wasn't me. That was the Lord. So I can't really use that. And I kind of thought I was thinking about the definition of the word success, which for me, I mean to accomplish my goals in life. And I was able to do that this year with wrestling. So I'm going to use what I did to prepare for wrestling in state since I was just a little kid. And I'm going to start off with in Proverbs, uh, just being willing to learn. Uh, uh, Proverbs 1 through uh, 5 through 7. The Proverbs of Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel, to know wisdom and instruction, to perceive the words of understanding, to receive the instructions of wisdom, judgment, justice, and Give prudence and simple. Give prudence to the simple. Sorry, to the young man, knowledge and discretion. A wise man will hear and increase learning, and a man of understanding will attain wise counsel. To understand a proverb and an enigma, the words of the wise and their riddles. Just what I'm trying to say there is like just take it easy. Do the easy route by learning from your elders or people who have more experience than you. If it wouldn't been from Coaches and like loved ones that knew about wrestling, uh, and I just wouldn't have been willing to learn from them. I would have never stayed with it because I would have had no success. And uh, next, be ready to fight for what you believe in. And uh, verse 2 Timothy, my uh, life verse For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and a sound mind. We're not to be scared over our problems, and we should be really willing and have the knowledge to fight back with the Bible over our problems. Um, that might be the smallest belief we have, but if we like, do not compromise, like my pastor showed us a demonstration of how compromises work. Like you have the bad, this is not, so this bad hand. Then you have the truth or what's right. When you compromise, they keep going. And what is now, you keep going and you can see the pattern there. But what is now considered right is not really right, if you understand what I'm trying to say. It's just like it's just like that. And if we compromise, we will never know what is right for us, like our own beliefs. Um, next, everything you do, be sure you do it your best, because it's going to have your name on it. Uh, my dad has always preached that 24-7, that's in his main thing, is always do your best and always have a good reputation. And through that, this has caused my parents' reputations and them, make, uh, them making me have a good reputation, I guess I'd say. I've had opportunities where it's been a $15 an hour job that I work one, one day a week. And this, this great opportunities that have led to different things in my life. And then be competitive. I don't talk, I don't read a story now. This is 32, 22 through 32. Um, during the night, Jacob got up took his two wives and his two servants' wives and his eleven sons and crossed the Jabbok River with them. After taking them to the other side, he sent over all his possessions. Then this left Jacob all alone in the camp, and a man came and wrestled with him until the dawn began to break. When the man saw that he would not win the match, he touched Jacob's hip and reached it out of the socket. And the man said, Let me go, for the dawn is breaking. But Jacob said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. What is your name? The man asked. He replied, Jacob. Your name will no longer be Jacob, as the man told him. From now on, you will be called Israel, because you have fought with God and with men and have won. Please tell your name, Jacob. <coughs> Please tell me your name, Jacob said. Why do you want to know my name? The man replied. And then he was blessed. And then he blessed Jacob. Jacob named the place Penel, which means face of God, for he said, I have seen God's face to face, yet my life has been spared. I'm just going to stop there. Um, being competitive always will make you do your best. It will make you uh, uh, learn just where you give you the extra edge over your opponent, which right now is Satan, right now is Satan and all the other problems in our lives. It, it just will it'll help you in so many different ways. Like It will basically... Uh, apply to the rest of these points and that will make you strong.
stronger in these areas. And then finally, just never give up. Never, again, never back down. Uh, again, Jacob, even though he's wrestling with a superior being, he's wrestling with God, never gave up and eventually got blessed by God and was considered and was actually named Israel. Uh, um, I actually have this quote that I was going to say to you that I don't know why the Lord wanted me to remember it, but I kind of got it. I know now why he wanted me to remember it, but I've known it since fifth grade. I've never I heard it once and it just stuck in my head. Like I never even tried to remember it, but there's not an elevator to success. You'll have to take the stairs. We, you're going to have to work. There's not going to be an easy path, no matter how you do it, no matter how much you do. You will have to work. And that's probably going to be one of my main problems, is that I like to just do what I need to do to get by and just be or cease by with me. That just won't, that won't 